I'm going to do something a little bit different in this one. I'm going to do my best to show you guys what setups I would use out of my personal rod and reel arsenal to throw each one of the baits that came in this month's sack. Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. It's been a while. Took a little break there. It's actually the longest break that I've taken from YouTube and social media in a really long time. And it felt good to step back, take a little breather, but we're coming back swinging with the new unboxing. This month's Six Sack from Six Sense Fishing just arrived, and we're gonna go ahead and crack into this sucker right here on camera. Take a look at all of these baits that went out this month in the sack, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different in this one. I'm gonna do my best to show you guys what setups I would use out of my personal rod and reel arsenal to throw each one of the baits that came in this month's sack. I have no idea what's in here, but I have every rod practically out of the boat right over here in the corner. And I'm gonna go through and show you guys my preference personally for throwing whatever they included in this month's six sack. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, the six sack is six cents version of those monthly bait subscription services that I'm sure you all are familiar with. The only difference here exclusively six cents fishing hard baits soft plastics terminal tackle and fishing gear heaters only from the six no random mumbo jumbo in the six sack i've been a six sack member for several years and i always have a blast doing these videos with you guys so let's crack off into the sack see what's in here but if you're intrigued and you want to check out the sack for yourself, you can use my code JR6SACK. That's going to knock $10 off the price of your first sack. It's a $50 plus dollar value in each six sack. Using that JR6SACK code will bring the price of that first sack down to like $27, $28. Bucks. It's a killer deal. Fishing Christmas, 12 months out of the year. Build your tackle pile, tackle mile without ever having to leave the house. You're gonna get these heaters delivered directly to your doorstep on a monthly basis. The Six Sack. This is the February 2023 Six Sack from Six Sense Fishing. Let's go ahead and bust off in here. You guys ask me practically every time I show this thing where to get one of these, check out at Bird Blades on Instagram. It's not a sponsor, it's just a friend of mine who makes really good knives. That right there is the Berg Blades Bottle Butcher. And we're gonna use this to open this box. Let's see what they sent us this month. And we'll take a look at some setups, some setup recommendations from yours truly to throw these baits. Speaking of Christmas, it looks like a Santa sack full of... Take two, speaking of Christmas, it looks like a Santa sack full of heaters. All right, there we go. Sounds like fishing stuff, which I love. So let's take a look. Let's see what they've sent out this month. A lot of hard baits. Took a little peek, I took a little cheater peek right there. There's a lot of hard baits, but as usual, I'm gonna kick it off with the soft plastic section of this month's six sack. Let's see what we got. Clout worms. This is the clout 5.4 in melon dust. That melon dust though, it's like watermelon seed, but it has just a, a little bit of a pearlized, almost blue tint to it. A little highlight in there. You guys can see that right there as I roll it between, as I roll it between my fingers. Sort of shining blue there on the outside of that watermelon seed. Now, Melon Dust Clout 5.4 to kick it off. And I'm pretty sure that along with these clouts, we're probably gonna have a piece of terminal tackle in here. Yep. There we go. Jugular hybrid hooks. This is the four-aught worm hook from Six Cents. This would be my hook of choice for fishing a clout, weightless, or even TR. This right here, this is the way. That's one really cool thing that Six Cents does. Normally when you get a soft plastic, you're gonna get the accompanying matching set of terminal tackle to go right along with it. This month, no different. Four out worm hook to go along with the stick bait. Clout 5.4. These non-EWG style hooks can be a little tricky, but once you get it down, you're good to go. So what you wanna do is make sure that that worm is sitting flat once you have it rigged, and you don't even really want too much of that hook point coming out of the soft plastic, if at all. And that right there is looking pretty good to me. Pretty much weedless. You could text pose that just like that. Worm's gonna sit flat, throw that bad boy up weightless into some shallow water during the spawn, Psh, it's on. 
fry garters are gonna murk that thing. Keep it really simple. If I'm gonna throw it weightless, I'm gonna be throwing it on my 6'9 medium moderate heater series rod, six foot nine inch medium power rod. Just, you know, a little more load up, lighter rods. So you can really sail that weightless clout worm out there. But if I'm gonna add weight and I'm gonna fish the bottom, I'm gonna throw it on my 7'2 medium heavy mod fast. So those are the two rod setup preferences that I have for the clout worm. I would throw that on like a seven to one gear ratio reel. And that would be just rocking and rolling, TRing on the bottom or fishing it weightless on a seven to one Shimano bait caster. And that's the gear breakdown for the clout worm, keeping it real simple. Seven to medium heavy mod fast. If you're gonna fish it on the bottom, traditional Texas rig setup with a bullet weight, six nine medium moderate heater if you're gonna throw it weightless. You guys are gonna notice that a lot of these rods that I'm recommending in this video are heater series rods. And a lot of you have been asking me when they're gonna be restocked and hopefully I'll have more information about that for you guys really soon. Stay tuned. As soon as we have more heater rods available, I'll make sure I'll let you guys know. But thank you for wanting to support. Truly means a lot to me. Let's keep it rocking. Looks like we have another soft plastic in here this month. The electric shiner, Devon Swimbait. This is the, the baby Devon, the little bitty guy. Don't have too many of these, but I'm most definitely going to be throwing this on a spinning setup. That is small potatoes right there. This right here, that's a little booger for some spinning gear right there. Super finesse. Without a doubt, I'm throwing that on this guy right here. This is a seven foot medium USA custom series, six cents rod, Shimano Sedona spinning reel, 10 pound braid to eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Yeah, that would be the setup probably that I throw that little bitty swim bait on. But let's keep it rolling. Now we're gonna get to the fun stuff the hard baits. Let's see what's up first. The Curve 55, my favorite small profile medium diving crankbait. This is the Ghost Table Rock Shad color, ghost body, subtle chartreuse lateral line, lavender gray back. You can see through the body, so it's translucent. It's a really natural shad bait fish looking color. Awesome awesome medium diving crankbait right here. My favorite small profile medium diver. And I also like to throw this on the 6.9 medium moderate heater series rod that we talked about earlier. I actually use that rod the most out of any of the heater series rods. I feel like it gives me the most versatility with everything from weightless jerk baits, jerk baits, small square bills, finesse square bills, and even the little curve 55 medium diver wiggle wart style. Dives five to nine feet, but I can get away with throwing it on that shorter, lighter rod. And I really love the Curve 55 paired with the 6.9. It loads up great. I've caught a lot of fish on that little combo right there. And that Ghost Table Rock Shad, super heater. That's my favorite so far out of the sack. I got a whole box in the boat dedicated to solely Curve 55s. I love that bait, so much fun. I feel like this is like the, the next step up. Once you get square bills dialed and you're comfortable fishing shallow and you've learned like the square bill game, banging through the one to four foot range, you're ready to get out there a little bit deeper. Maybe you just got a kayak or uh, your first boat and you're trying to learn the cranking game. Don't have much experience. Like I said, get you a six nine medium moderate heater series when they're back in stock. Throw your finesse square bills, your crush 50s, your curve finesse, and the curve 55 all on that one setup without having to dedicate more money to an additional deep cranking setup. The curve 55, my favorite small profile medium diver. Love that bait. Let's keep it rolling. What's next? The Munch 40. Speaking of shallow, speaking of banging around in that one to four foot range, this right here the Munch 40. It's a two and a half inch smaller profile crankbait. Dives two to three feet. And at first glance, it might look like a square bill, but it's not. As you can see, it has the same bill shape. At, I almost got my finger there as the movement series of crankbaits. If you guys are familiar with the movement 80 or the movement 80 wake wake bait, this right here is the Munch 40 with that same bill design, smaller profile. One thing I want to say about this bait, if you like fishing a chatterbait, you like feeling that thump and that rumble, that vibration, this bait right here thumps and rumbles. Excellent shallow water hard bait. Something a little different with a little bit different action, wider tail swing on the Munch 40. Really feel the end of that rod just vibrating when you fish this thing. Again, the 6.9 medium moderate heater series or 
the 7.5 medium. That's another excellent option. That 7.5 gets sailed this much 40 out there, get a nice load up. That color right there, that's that 4K shad. I don't even need to look at the package. I would know that color from a mile away. Just a beautiful white, gray, a little bit of subtle bluish gray and gold accents. Nice little shad imitator, the 4K shad, much 40. Awesome shallow water hard bait right there with a little bit different action than your traditional square bills. Little versatility in the hard baits there to start. We got the, the medium divers and the super shallow. Let's see what else we've got this month. Oh man, that brown eye special crush flat 75X. And this is one of my all time favorite baits from Sixth Sense and one of my favorite colors. Excellent early winter slash late winter flat sided crankbait with one of their signature incredible superheater colors. You got that bright hot rod, orange and red, black back, red eye, absolutely beautiful. And as always on all six cents hard baits, you're getting laser sharp black nickel hooks, and premium hardware ready to go straight out of the box. No upgrades necessary and the Crush Flat 75X and Brown Eye Special is a bait that I keep in my heaters only box. That's right, this is a super confidence bait for me. I have multiples of these on the boat so that I just, I can't run out. This right here is one that I have to have around and the Crush Flat 75X is so much fun to fish. Now when it comes to rods and reels and setups for throwing the Crush Flat 75X, I'm gonna bust out one that I have not yet talked about in this video, and that is going to be my 7.4 medium heavy mod fast heater series rod. As you can see, I have a F4, which is a very similar bait to the Crush Flat 75X tied onto this setup right now. There's a little quick side-by-side -side comparison of the F4 and the Flat 75X, a little bit more bulk to the Flat 75X, and uh, you know, obviously you have the traditional plastic bill, or on the F4, you have the circuit board lip. I feel like the F4 is like the flat 75X, just turbocharged, just souped up with a little bit of a throwback to the more classic balsa flat sided crankbaits with that circuit board lip. Now, when it comes to the real selection, I'm gonna be throwing this on, you know, a six to one, a Corrado 200 and a 6.3 to one. That's generally what I'm gonna be throwing all of these hard baits that I've talked about on. Start out on a six to one, but sometimes I will burn them, turning and burning on a seven to one. So really, if you only have a seven to one, it's no big deal. Just slow down a little bit. It's a lot easier to remind yourself to slow down than it is to speed up on a six to one or, or like a slower reel. Seven to one, six to one, any of those will do. I usually start out with a six. I like to throw square bills, medium divers, moving baits like a, a jackhammer or a bladed jig on a six to one, and then pretty much everything else on a seven to one. Everything from Texas rigs, swim jigs, swim baits, the trace, all that I'm throwing on a seven to one. But baits like this, I like to start out with a six to one just to keep myself from getting in too big of a hurry. Give those fish a little bit of a longer chance to eat it. But that brown eye special and that flat 75X, that's one that I always have on the boat, no matter what. 7.4 medium heavy mod fast heater series on the rod, six to one on the reel, 15 pound fluorocarbon, rocking and rolling. Yeah, speaking of fluorocarbon, I'm gonna go 15 on practically all of these. And if I wanna get a little bit more depth out of the bait, a little bit better dive depth, I'm gonna bump it down to 12. But generally, you know, just for a little added abrasion resistance, you know, I'm fishing around a lot of zebra mussels. I start out with that 15, go from there. 15 does great, especially when you're fishing up in that super shallow, you know, one to four foot range. It's not gonna make too big of a difference. So 15 pound fluorocarbon is my preference, especially when I'm fishing around heavy cover or zebra mussels. So now we covered line and that goes for practically all of the hard baits that I've talked about in this video. Anywhere from 12 to 15, you're gonna do great. Three really nice hard baits so far in this month's six sack. A couple soft plastic options and some terminal tackle. We're not doing too bad, but wait, there's more. Let's see what else we've got this month. A Thud 70, this is the Quake 70, but this is the Thud version. This is the one knocker. And this is that boiled crawfish, super bright, super vibrant, orange and red, just in time for early spring. And that's that one knocker Quake Thud. It's got a little bit of a lower thump to it from the traditional high pitch rattles in the Quake. That bull with crawfish, super fire, bright, but highlighter orange on the belly, red on the back, black and gold, cross style accents, EWG hooks, super fire. Quake thud, the Quake 70 thud, lipless heater. 
I've been throwing a little bit of red lipless crankbaits lately. In fact, I have a video coming up where you're finally gonna get to see me put that Rambo Red Snatch 70 that we unboxed in a previous video to work with my buddy Justin. Day two, part three of the Valley Lake Ranch fishing excursion that I went on. I'm finally getting that video wrapped up for you guys. Stay tuned, it's coming soon, but we had to crack off into the six sack as soon as the mailman dropped it off. You know, every month when I get the six sack, I, I just have to open it right here on camera with you guys. And if you guys are interested in learning more about the six sack and you wanna see the complete history, the anthology, every single six sack that I've ever unboxed, I've done a video for, and I have a playlist that I will link down below in the description if you wanna watch every single six sack unboxing ever. And I also have a video that contains every six sack unboxing ever that I edited all together from every single unboxing. So if you just wanna click one video and watch the entire history without having to go through the playlist, that's there for you too. But we got one more bait in this month's six sack. Let's see what it is. The Crush 100X, square bills, larger profile square bills. Speaking of graduating from the smaller stuff, when you're ready to step it up and throw something with a little bit more beef, the Crush 100X, is an excellent option. Just one step up, a little bit bigger profile from the Crush 50. So if you have bigger bait fish, bigger forage, perhaps uh, bluegill or large gizzard shad or what your bass are munching on in your body of water, the Crush 100X is just a bigger version of that Crush 50. And I love throwing this when I'm around. Bigger fish or fish that eat bigger prey. This color right here, Shad Sense, clear ghost body, sort of similar to that Table Rock Ghost Shad. It has the, the see-through translucent body, little yellow highlight there along the lateral line, beautiful royal purplish blue back, black dot, EWG hooks. I'm gonna throw this bait right here, the 7.5 medium mod heater series for the Crush 100 for me. That's an excellent duo, a little bit of a longer rod, and you can handle the, the bigger, heavier bait a little bit better than you can with the 6.9, 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon, all the same. I'm gonna be bumping and grinding with this thing up shallow, and a fat dragon is gonna come out and smoke that sucker, because that's what it is when you get the six sack. You get the heaters, you catch the dragons, and it's a good time. It's just a good time. Now let's talk about my favorite bait out of the sack this month. I think if I had to pick a favorite, I can't pick one. So I gotta pick three. These two right here, like I said, I have extreme confidence in these baits. I have these on the boat at all times. I have an entire box dedicated to Curve 55s and the Brown Eye Special Crush Flat 75X is in my heaters only box. And this right here has to go into the group of favorites out of this month's sack because if you're fishing this, chances are you're around some dragons. You're around some monstros and you're gonna catch you know, some decent fish. And it's always a good time when you're throwing a bigger, heavier square bill. Lake Fork comes to mind. That's the last time I was throwing a square bill similar to this. I was actually throwing the 3.8 mini mag, but the Crush 100X is an excellent square bill option for targeting bigger bass. And that's it. That's what we got in this month's six sack. I'm not sure if any of those baits were exclusive colors. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. I've been away from the game for a little bit, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. It's good to be back with you here on YouTube and I hope you enjoyed this six sack unboxing. A little bit different take, trying to show you guys what rods and reels I would use. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. I was moving through this kind of fast. If I did, drop me a question down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you all down there. As always, you know, shout outs to Six Cents. If you guys liked what you saw and you're interested in hooking yourself up with a Six Sack, sixcentsfishing.com. Check out the Six Sack, JR Six Sack for $10 off. But heads up, it is an exclusive subscription service with limited availability. They only open up a certain number of spots and once they fill, they shut it off. So keep your eyes on the website. As soon as more spots open up, you can log in, sign up, and get yourself a six sack. Get your tackle pile, tackle mile in order without ever having to leave the crib. But maybe you don't like letting other people pick your tackle for you. Maybe you like to hand select your heaters. No problem, I can help you out there as well. And you can help me out by using JR10 at checkout on sixcentsfishing.com to secure the heaters, save the bread, and knock 10% off your entire order. Send me a screenshot so that I can give you a shout out on my Instagram. Super easy, you get the confirmation, screenshot it. DM it to me at the Justin Royal and I will post it up, tag your accounts just a way for me to say thank you, give you all some public recognition for helping us keep this whole thing running. Speaking of keeping this thing running, the wheels would fall right on off if it wasn't for the almighty heater army. Those are the names that you're gonna see scroll up the screen at the end of the video. If you're interested in becoming a part of the heater army and supporting the channel yourself, check out that top link down below in the video description. But I appreciate 
anyone who takes time out of their day to watch these videos. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I will see you on the next one. It's good to be back.